Here is breakfast this morning. We have three slices of Jones Canadian bacon for one point plus. I have egg whites here for one point, and then it is mixed with salsa for zero, peppers, peppers, bell peppers for zero, and tomatoes for zero. So this is one, this is one. This is a piece of my homemade banana bread, real banana bread, real butter, real sugar. It is six points a slice with one point worth of butter on top, real butter, like legit, Kerrygold, real butter. So that's seven, eight, nine points plus total for my breakfast this morning. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Wednesday. I think today's January 23rd. And today, it's only 9.30 in the morning, and the day has completely just been not bad, just a little bit jacked up. And let me tell you why. So, you guys know, I hate winter. Passion of a thousand suns, enough passion to melt any winter weather that comes my direction. But alas, because it does not work that way, I do not melt the winter weather. It has been raining ice and or snowing since, I don't know, seven o'clock last night? Five o'clock last night? Earlier than that? I don't actually know. It's been total and utter crap. Crap. And it is still, I just poked my head outside to see exactly what was happening. There is still a very fine mist of something falling from the sky. Why is this a problem? Well, other than the fact that I hate winter, I, I'm terrified of going outside in the winter, driving, walking, whatever, because if I slip, I can't catch myself. I will fall. I might break something. Knock on wood, I haven't broken anything yet from falling on the slippery sidewalk, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't hurt myself. And my husband texted me on his walk to the train this morning to tell me that it was disgusting outside. Several people on Facebook, when I inquired at like 7 a.m., I'm like, so, tell me about the roads, guys. People are like, no, just don't go out. Which means that I don't get to go to the gym again today. I say again because I didn't go yesterday either. My body pump class was canceled on Monday. We do back up to Saturday. You guys saw my snowy weekend. We didn't go on Saturday. Body pump class, I showed up to the gym on Monday. It was canceled, I think, because my instructor had all our kids home because it was MLK day. I could be wrong, I don't know. But she never told me, so I didn't know until I saw the sign and I was like, I got my cardio in, went upstairs to go set up, and nothing. I was like, well, shoot. Which is fine. I ended up having world's most amazingly productive day on Monday because I got that hour back, which wasn't a problem. And then so I had every intention of going to Tuesday's body pump class last night. And the grossness started. It, there was a sheet of ice on my car for the three hours that I was at my parents' house watching Alice yesterday. I came out to a sheet of ice on my car and had to sit in the driveway until the stupid thing defrosted. I tell you, I am so beyond thankful for the heated garage spot that my car is currently sitting in because, yeah, no, it's definitely still coming down. This is literally my worst nightmare. I don't, I don't have fears or worst nightmares about a lot. This is one of the few things that is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Freaking winter weather. Anyway. So yesterday I improvised and I was like, you know what? I have a music theater brain. I'm really good at retaining choreography information. I bet you if I busted out my favorite body pump track listings, I could do body pump at home. And guess what? I did an entire body pump workout, mostly body pump 106 because that's, that's one that I really loved. I switched out the lunch track, but uh, Spotify actually has playlists that people put together of all the body pump songs, which is incredible. I was able to do it with hand weights. And I texted my instructor and I said, so if I can't, don't have anything to do clean and presses with because I cannot lift my hands or my arms up over my head without the bar in between. I don't know why. My tricep muscles don't work. You guys know I have CMT. It affects my muscles greatly. For whatever reason, if you put that solid bar in between my two hands, I can lift my hands up over my head. If without them, I can't. They will fall on my head and hurt me. So for the chest track, I did something really crazy. I uh, bench pressed my cordless vacuum cleaner and like swip, uh, turned it around halfway through so I was evenly distributing the weight. <laughs> Nicole, my instructor, was like, well, that's hardcore. Yeah, but for the other stuff, I swapped out clean and presses for a different move that essentially did the same thing but allowed me to keep my hands on a weight and not clobber myself in, a head, in the head because I didn't have a bar. And I did a legit 
55 minute body pump workout, burned the same amount of calories as I do at the gym according to my Fitbit, and I was so proud of myself. So I accomplished that, no problem. Today, I'm supposed to get up, go to the gym, go to Pilates class, and everyone's telling me not to leave the house. My cell phone is also back. I got a call about that yesterday after all the snow and rain and grossness had started falling. So I was like, hmm, how badly do I want that phone? Yesterday, I did not want it badly enough to go out in the raining ice. Today, I might go out later, but I still cannot go to the gym because few things keep me from my workouts. This, like, this is killing me inside. You don't understand. This is killing me inside that the only thing that will keep me from my workouts at the gym is exactly what's happening outside. Like, it is breaking my heart, but I don't feel confident that if something bad happens, I'll be able to get myself out of it. So it is what it is. I get to work out on my own today. And then to top it off, to top it off. We got a notice posted on our front door yesterday um, and like the big front door downstairs that says we are going to be turning your water off at 9 a.m. for four hours. And at first I was like, well, that's not a problem because I'll be at the gym by then. So I'll spend at least half of that time at the gym. Well, now I'm not going to the gym. So I prepared and prepared. I have several water bottles filled up with water in my refrigerator. I filled up my hot pot, my like my tea kettle in case I wanted tea, and I even put some more water in the coffee maker lest I want to make coffee sometime within that four hour period. I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, I ran the dishwasher, and I did all the hand wash dishes by hand just so I would have no reason to be mad that they didn't turn the water off. No problem. It is nine, what did I say it was? Oh, it's 9.42 and they still haven't turned the water off. <sighs> this day, welcome to my worst nightmare, but not really, cause it's not that bad. Let's see, let's see how I end up navigating this day. Good morning, my beautiful baby. How are you today? How are you all, oh, you're precious. You need a haircut, but I kind of like your hair long. Come here, look at you. Aren't you gorgeous? I'm really hesitating to cut her hair because I usually get it cut short so it just grows in nice and naturally. But it's so cold outside. I don't necessarily want to cut it all off yet. What do I do, guys? Crazy. You're so cute. This is the crap I'm dealing with. It is just gray. There is no color outside. None whatsoever. It is nothing but a giant grayscale world. Ugh. Thankfully, the plow came through. <clears throat> That's what's on our balcony. Are you are you about to go? What, what are you doing? Gracie? Gracie, come in here, you silly dog. <laughs> what are you doing? Maniac. Here's the update, friends. It's 11.15. I have gotten out of my pajamas into more comfy clothes, but I'm still out of my pajamas. And the body pump workout that I did at home yesterday is starting to come back with vengeance. My shoulders hurt, my back hurts, my abs are feeling it, which is terrible because it makes me want to do things even less, but so good because it means I did it right. And I'm very, very proud of that. Like I'm currently leaning my elbow on my knee because it hurts to hold up the camera. Good job, Brianna. You did body pump on your own. So proud of you. Did not go to my Pilates class. I'm gazing off in the distance because I'm looking outside. It looks like precipitation has stopped falling from the sky. Hallelujah. It's been almost 24 hours. So that's good. The roads are looking pretty good. I've missed my Pilates class. Did I say that already? Today might end up being a rest day. I want to do some stuff a little bit later, but if my shoulders and stuff hurt this bad, I don't want to push it. So I pushed myself pretty hard yesterday, so I don't want to push it. I think this means that I might actually be able to go out and get my phone at some point. I probably won't leave until afternoon. 
Um, and then an update on the water front. I told you guys about the water thing, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, they didn't tur turn off our water at 9 like they were supposed to. It was about 10, 15, 10, 20. And we got an email saying the hot water heater has been turned off. And they, no specific times, the water will be turned off from late morning into early afternoon. Well, it was originally supposed to come back at 1 o'clock. I don't know when it's going to come back now. And hot water is not going to come on until at least 4 o'clock. Which makes me want to work out less because I won't be able to shower. <sighs> and then the other thing that has happened is I ate an, a snack because apparently my breakfast did not fill me. My m muscles must be reconstructing themselves. So I ended up eating a healthy eating on the go bar topped with almond butter, which was another nine points. I might be going over on points today, which I'm pretty sure I did the last time I did a what I ate on points plus vlog but you know what that's what weeklies are for my friends so that's the update I'm unfocused I don't want to do anything except curl up on the couch because I'm sore I am grumpy and it is cold and disgusting outside do you guys have the same struggle like I Monday I was so incredibly focused I got so much done I want to do nothing today nothing Where's the balance? Where's the balance? All right, I am about to eat something that resembles lunch. I'm trying to keep it super low in points because I'm hungry, but I've spent a crap ton of my points already today. So I'm having primarily vegetables, which is zero points, and then I have two servings of Aldi hummus in here, which is two points plus. I'm also going to be eating this. I found this in my pantry, the Trader Joe's fruit bar, which if you guys recall from my Weight Watchers Rebel video that I posted ages ago, this is one of the things I track as zero. It's literally apples and strawberries. So as long as I pair it with something to replace the water, aka my own water, I don't count it as zero. So as long as I drink that along with that, I count it as zero. And then as my dessert, I'm going to be eating some Smart Sweets. The Smart Sweets will pack a punch of 28 grams of fiber and only be only two points plus. So two points plus, Two points plus, zero points plus in my book, zero points plus, which means four points plus. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm going to take your guys' advice and try the marvelous Miss Maisel, Mrs. Maisel. So here we go. All right, it is time for a snack post weathering the weather, if you will. I'm having some fat free cottage cheese. 150 grams of fat free cottage cheese is two points plus. And then I like to flavor it with savory seasonings. And I'm actually using, I typically use the Limpton onion soup mix, just, just a bit, just enough to color it and flavor it. It's really, really good. And I put some chives in there. So I have chives and onion cottage cheese so good. I am 100% team savory on the cottage cheese all the way. Two points Here plus. is my dinner. This is two cups, so two whole servings of the Trader Joe's organic creamy tomato soup. One serving is three points plus, but two servings is five points plus instead of six. Hooray for Weight Watchers math, which means that this, I topped it with a little bit of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese, which is one points plus, also one smart point, I believe. Um, these actually might be identical. I can't remember exactly on smart points, but I do think one serving of the soup is three smart points too, but don't quote me on that. So this is five points for the soup, one point for the cheese, making it six points total. I know I'm going over my points today because today's just a rough day, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can, which is some days all you can do, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I figured out what the heck my problem is. So as I've been analyzing the way I've been feeling, which is crummy all day, and how my breakfast, which should have lasted me for a long time, like I was hungry almost immediately following, and I've been eating and eating and eating. And then after my dinner, I got into those godforsaken Oreos and ended up having, I think, four of them of the most stuff Oreos, not like of a regular Oreo, of the most stuff Oreos. And now I'm sitting here and that was at like 7.30. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm just gonna cut myself off because I usually cut myself off of food at nine o'clock. I'm like, just, you're done. Or it might have actually been 6.30. And I'm just like, just stop eating, Brianna. You're done for the day. Okay, fine, no problem. And, but just as my, I've been going through the day, 
I've been having the desire to eat every freaking thing. I'm unfocused. I'm so tired. I didn't even tell you guys this. So like at first my body started to feel my workout, right? Then a couple hours after that, I feel like I just got hit with the fatigue stick or something like so tired. And I was like, well, this is freaking absurd because Monday was such a good productive day. And I've been feeling very bleh, even though I've been feeling, I've been feeling very full, even though I've been feeling very hungry. So I decided to look at my Fitbit because there's a cycle tracker on here. I'm PMSing. Gah! Freaking hey! I was like, oh, this literally explains every single problem I'm having today. Every single one. Because the one issue I'm having with post IUD removal and not being on any form of birth control of any kind and regulating my own hormones for, you know, the first time in a decade, PMS has been my only issue. Big issue, but my only issue. Freaking A, that's what my problem is. So <laughs> what this means for this vlog is I'm going to do a two day vlog for you. Today was my, I just completely lost my crap and I'm showing it to you because it's real life. I ate I, four of those cookies. There are three points a piece, by the way, three points plus a piece, by the way. I'm not happy about it, but it happened and it is what it is. And the worst part is I'm going to go back in the kitchen and I know I'm going to eat something else because I'm feeling so hungry. Like, I don't think I can ignore it and go to bed. I'm feeling so hungry now because I stopped eating hours ago. So that just is what it is. I have to listen to my body. And if my body freaking wants to eat, I'm going to have to eat. End of story. Um, so that's fine. But tomorrow, the goal is going to be eating well while you're PMSing. So we'll have a good day and a bad day, all wrapped up in the same vlog, vlog because this is real life. So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, good morning from my parents' house. I'm hanging out here today and I brought some food along. I should only be here until about one o'clock. So today I have a Sandwich Brothers breakfast sandwich for four points. I brought along some more cottage cheese with onion soup mix and chives in it for two points. I brought oranges and a banana for zero points. And then I did find this Too Good by Light and Fit yogurt. This is low sugar yogurt, I guess. I don't know, I haven't really taken a dive into it yet to see what it's all about. Only three carbs. 12 grams of protein, only 2 grams of sugar, so it's 2 points plus. So I'm going to give this a try, hopefully it's good, it's the lower sugar version of the light and fit yogurt. So we'll see how that goes, but that's what I have, so 4, 2, 2, so I brought 8 points with me. Good morning, beast of a creature. And my little beast of a creature is here too, Zoe! Hi sweet girl, oh you are just the best girl, you know that. You know that, yes, you're, you're a good girl, Zoe, yes. All right, gang, I am back home after dealing with a toddler again, not even for the full day, and I'm still tired because uh, I just don't have energy. Oh, well, you know, the whole PMS thing I discovered last night, that's not helping, but I managed to not really eat anything crazy while I was at my parents' house, which is great. I did eat one Nutri-Grain waffle, which I believe is two points plus, and I ate it because I made one for Alice and I made one for me. And for the child that does not eat, me eating the waffle made her eat half of hers because she watched me go, and look, Aunt Bree has a waffle too. And she actually ate breakfast worth the two points in my book. Oh my word. Um, so that, that, that was that, that was great. I'm home. I've been chilling on the couch for a little bit, watching some Grace and Frankie, trying to figure out what to do with my life because I'm I'm so tired. I'm considering a nap, so I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to eat a Bilt Bar because it's kind of like chocolate and candy and all things good, but it's also protein and fiber, which is awesome. So I'm going to eat one of these. I'm almost out of my variety box. I actually have to order another one. Um, but if you want to try these, you can use my code for either 10% off of a full-size box or $3 off a sample box. Those codes will be down below for you. You just go to 
billbar.com, I think. I don't really know. I'll have all the information down below for you. Some people love these. Some people hate these. I think they're pretty darn good as long as they're refrigerated. I like them refrigerated better than I like them room temperature because they're a little bit too gooey room temperature. I really like the consistency of these refrigerated. So I keep my entire box in the fridge. They're a great, I want a candy bar, but don't want to spend all my points on a candy bar. Three points plus, three smart points. Can't beat it, pretty good. Are they the greatest things I've ever tasted? No, but they are a legit substitute, just being honest. So I'm gonna eat that and I'm going to drink. I just reheated some coffee to kind of give me a boost. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. And I'm gonna finish my Grace and Frankie and then I think I'm actually going to pop on my meditation app for a little bit and actually zone out and meditate which I've been using Headspace. And I actually paid for an entire year of the subscription of Headspace because they have like a beginning of the year sale that got me 40% off or something. And it's a habit I wanna get into. I've never fully embraced meditation, but it's supposed to be so good for your brain and just so good for you and your energy and your focus and everything that I want to improve about myself is supposedly is, is something that can get improved with meditation supposedly. So it's something that for a year I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I have not been consistent about it, but I've been getting better at it. And it's all guided meditation. I pop on my Beats headphones so like I tune out the world and you can go for as short as like eight minutes or something. So I might do that drink my coffee, see if I'm energized. And then tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to the gym. I'm so excited. I'm tired, but I'm so excited to go work out. I can't even tell you. So that's the life update. All right, guys, I know dinner isn't beautiful, but I'm really looking forward to it. This is a DIY burrito bowl that is a lot leaner than any burrito bowl I'd get elsewhere. So the base of this burrito bowl is actually cauliflower rice, which means it's straight vegetables and zero points. So in here I have cauliflower rice. Let me see if I can remember everything I put in there. Four ounces of chicken breast. I made pulled chicken breast at the beginning of the week, which is three points plus. So, so far I'm at three. I put salsa in there for flavor, all sorts of salsa, zero points. So I'm still at three. I put two ounces of Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese in there because the only cheese I have, which is two points. So three, four, five. And then I am tracking my guacamole because I had a banana today. And if you saw my avocado video, I usually have one or the other and that's why I don't track it. But because I already had a banana, I'm going to track my avocado, which is three points. So I'm at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight points for my giant freaking burrito bowl. I am so excited. Yum. All right, friends. It is a few minutes shy of nine o'clock and I'm hopping on here to sign off for the night. I clocked in today at 36 out of 26 points because it is what it is. My dinner though was so filling and it was so relatively low points. Um, what did I say it was? Eight for lots of chicken some two ounces of cheese, guacamole. I mean, come on, it was actually really, really good. And the whole, it was so low carb. I didn't like do the exact calculations, but it was so stinking low carb. Oh my gosh, so good. What else did I have today that you guys didn't see? I had, I did have the last two of those godforsaken cookies, those Oreos, they're gone, never to return, ever. Because I need to learn, I'm gonna do a whole video on this. But I cannot, under any circumstances, keep stuff I shouldn't eat in the house. That just is what it is. When I am on point, it is after I show you grocery hauls, we're like, if my last grocery haul, my first grocery haul of the year, remember when I was like, I'm so proud of myself because the only thing that I bought that was remotely off plan was Hershey's Kisses, which I had two of today. Because apparently I can control myself with Hershey's Kisses, but I can't control myself with a bunch of other things. I don't understand it. I don't know what the logic is. I don't know why I have such bad self-control issues. If any of you have ever had any sort of self-control issue, what do you do to control it? Because dang, but I want to, I want to do a whole video on that. Like the rules of weight loss, like the personal rules of weight loss. And for me, that is like rule number uno is do not keep stuff you shouldn't have in the house. It's ridiculous. Um, but that's, and that is me learning about my journey. I know better. And when I do things like bring the stuff home, it never ends well. And I should know that, but apparently I'm a slow learner. Um, but 
The whole point was I ate the last two for six points and they're gone, which is oh, amazing. I'm still feeling PMSy and gross and terrible, but I went to the gym today. I went to body pump. I got in a full 30 minutes on the elliptical where I cranked it out because I just felt like I went to the gym today not because I was feeling like, you know how it's not what we're supposed to do, but a lot of us will go to the gym for punishment. Like, oh, we ate for crap or, oh, we've only been to the gym once this week. Gotta go to the gym. No, I went for my sanity and entirely solely for my sanity. Today, I'm like, I need to get out of this house, which I did get out of the house this morning and I did get out of the house yesterday to go get my phone. But like, I haven't been to the gym since Monday and it felt so good to get on an elliptical and just crank it out for half an hour. And then it felt so good to be back in body pump class. And it was all for my mental state of mind and it was so good and I worked out hard and it was glorious and I'm feeling much better about that now I'm still feeling meh, but that's not going to change until my monthly friend shows up. So I gotta gotta deal with that as it as I do every month. It's fine. Not a problem on that note I think I've said everything I have to say I went to the gym. I I did meditate Although I'm pretty sure I fell asleep while I was meditating, like took a solid 20 minute nap. I don't actually know though. Like I had my headphones on and was meditating kind of on what the dude was telling me to meditate on. And I was doing a specific meditation about motivation that was found on like the physical activity section of Headspace. And I was like, okay, this, this seems legit for what I'm about to go do when I'm done meditating. And my mind was wandering and I didn't know if I was dreaming or actively thinking of these things, but there were periods of silence that the guy lets you have where I think that's when I dozed off. So, and then when he finished and he said, okay, open your eyes, blah, 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 blah. And he kind of did his little wrap up. I was awake for that. Like I heard him say, open your eyes. And I was like, okay, so did I fall asleep or did I not fall asleep and just got into a zone? I don't actually know because I'm a total newbie to this meditating thing. So if you have any advice on that front, let me know. And on that note, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.